Hello, this is Brian with Allen Engineering, and today we're going to be talking about mounting systems. So the mounting styles are broken up into two camps. One is going to be the direct thread option. Those are primarily the older OpSync suppressors like the M4 and M24. Then are going to be the newer suppressors like the AEM5 and AEM3, which are going to be brake mounted suppressors. That means that they require an OpSync style muzzle device to properly mount. It's important to note that all Allen engineering suppressors need a collar to be properly mounted. If you try to use it without a collar, you'll probably baffle strike your suppressor. This is also the case for the direct thread options. I know some people think you could direct thread your AE suppressor without a collar, but that is not the case. So the AE suppressors are broken down into direct thread and brake mounted styles. Let's take a look at the two direct thread suppressors. First is going to be the M24. So the M24 is going to be the OpSync third model, which is a direct thread 30 cal suppressor. We can see if we remove this, that it mounts over the barrel four and a half inches. The direct thread options have a longer mounting system than the brake mounted options. It is going to be a 5 8 version and also comes in 11 16 So the second direct thread suppressor is going to be the M4. This is going to be the 556 variant of the direct thread model. This also goes over the barrel four and a half inches and is a direct thread for a half by 28. These primarily need to be mounted with a three piece long collar on a front sight block upper. Now, as we move on to the brake mounted suppressors, we have two different styles, the A mount and the B mount. The A mount is the most popular Allen engineering mounting system. It is the mounting system for the AEM5 or the OpSync 12 model. And it will carry over to the other variants of the AEM5, such as the AEM530 and the AEM530K. So let's take a look at a Mark 12 to see the A mount. So again, this is the most common Allen engineering mounting system. So the A mount, again, will be a brake mounted system. So any OpSync style muzzle device will work with a collar. This will go from muzzle to taper two and a half inches. So let's compare this to the B mount suppressors. So here we have a Kansoff rifle which takes a B mounted suppressor. So this is specifically the AEM3 or OpSync 15th model. So the biggest difference between the A and the B mount is going to be mounting length. While the a mounts mount over the barrel 2.5 inches from muzzle to collar. The B mount is going to be 2.05 inches. That is about a half inch difference in mounting length. So what this does is it allows B mounted suppressors to have a wider range of mounting options. So you'll see here that it can mount to 11 and a half inch FSB upper, which really isn't possible with the A mounted suppressors. So the B mounted suppressors are going to be the AEM4, the AEM3, and the AEM2. This is just a quick overview of the different mounting styles for Allen Engineering suppressors. We will be adding barrel prints onto our website so you can have your barrel profiled to one of these options. If you need any help mounting your Allen Engineering suppressor, reach out to us and we are happy to help. Thanks for tuning in. All this information is also on our website at aespressors.com.